This time last year, the big question was whether Frankel would make it as a sire. With a phenomenal winners to runners ratio, he has had an even better start to his stallion career than Galileo and See the Stars. As we enter sales season, Frankel is still the buzz horse. When his first crop went through the ring, as what has been well documented, they weren't very well received and people just felt they were a bit workmanlike and a bit gawky and now they've suddenly hit the ground, everybody's absolutely going mad and it's Frankel mania. I think people last year were being a little bit unforgiving because he was the perfect racehorse with the perfect record and not a great deal of them looked like him. I think people last year, before they'd started running, um, were being a bit rude about them. Whereas this year, people are much more forgiving, seemingly, because we've seen how they run. Yeah, I think everybody has been overwhelmed by the start that Frankl has made uh, as a stallion. I mean, it, it's exceeded all expectations, and the expectations were pretty high. Uh, look, he's the best racehorse that certainly I think I've ever seen, and uh, his first crop have got off to a spectacular start. We've got some very, very well-bred and, and very handsome or pretty, depending on sex, uh, Frankl yearlings to sell in the next three days and I think there very much is still the same buzz around him. He's, he's a legend and uh, it looks like the next chapter of the legend has got off to a great start. He's by an exceptional sire in Galileo. You know, he can do no wrong. And when his, you know, when Frankel's first yearlings came on, on, on the scene or came, came to the marketplace, everybody was obviously very, very keen for those reasons. Now, you know, his first crop of two-year-olds, they've, they've really gone and done everything that we all hoped they would. They're well able to gallop, so uh, I mean, they're of, they're of huge interest to anyone who's involved or interested or even considering buying a leg of a horse. Uh, this week, they're of huge interest to everybody, you know? We sold a very, very nice Jabawi last year, uh, sorry, Frankel last year, out of Dari Me, um, which is now with John Gosden, and we've got very good reports of that. Um, he sold very well, but we also, uh, brought a um, Frankel yearling up here out of Dorcas Lane, who's now called Atty Purse, and he won first time out very, very well at Sandown, um, but we couldn't sell him. So I think the market will be more forgiving of what they perceived Frankel should be, because they seem to win in all shapes and sizes. I will be interested to see what happens next year. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, he probably had the finest group of mares that yeah. has ever been sent to a stallion. Um, as every year goes by, he's got to start competing with the horses that come on after him. You know, it was only not that long ago that See the, Star See the Stars was a fabulous racehorse and then Frankel superseded him and See the Stars' his stock have done fantastically well and they can't all be champion sire every year. The, the, the great thing about Frankel is that you know, he's got off to a great start. These two-year-olds have arguably exceeded everybody's expectations. It would be very surprising if his three-year-olds didn't carry that on. And let's hope he is really a, a truly top-class sire in the same mould as his father. If he can scale even remotely the heights of Galileo, then, uh, as I say, that just carries on the legend of Frankel. And uh, it would be wonderful to see the Galileo legacy carried on like that. You know, Frankel's not going to shuttle, obviously, but, you, you, you know, this is going to be a worldwide thing, and I think that's, you know, something to hone in on. He's had winners in Japan, he's had winners, obviously, in Europe. I think, you know, pretty soon we're going to see him have winners in America, we're going to see him have winners in Australia with all the, the mares that were covered Southern Hemisphere time and got on a plane to go down there. I think he's going to be a worldwide, uh, he's going to be a worldwide good thing.